Hi guys, it's Taylor, and welcome to my August wrap-up and September TBR. So I had a pretty good reading month for August. Um, I'm not done with two of the books on this list, but I will definitely be done by the end of August 31st, so I'm going to add them anyway. Um, there was one book that I wanted to read this month that I didn't get around to, but then I would replace that with another book. So without further ado, let's get started. First on this list is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. I love this book. As you can probably tell, I have not been able to stop talking about this book. Uh, earlier this month, I had my nails painted blue to match this book. I love this book. I just, I adore it. It's perfect. Resand is perfect. Favor goes through so much. It's... <sighs> Sarah J. Mass, why do you do these things to me? The next book on this list is Scarlet. Uh, from Marissa Myers. This is the second book in the Lunar Chronicles. Um, this book covers uh, the fairy tale Little Red Riding Hood with Scarlet, who is searching for a missing grandmother, and she uh, gets help from the street fighter named Wolf, and his trustworthiness levels are pretty questionable. But, um, this book is really nice. I really liked uh, the relationship between Scarlet and Wolf. I thought it was very cool. I liked uh, the new edition of Captain Thorn. I, I love him so much. And I can't wait to continue with this series because it's really good and I'm so happy I started reading it. The next book on my list is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling, J John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. Um, this book is pretty controversial. A lot of people on booktube either seem to really love it or to really hate it. I'm pretty much in the middle. I think it's on the better side of okay. There are a lot of good elements about this book, but with that there are a lot of weird or bad or just plain silly elements, and I will include that in my review of this book, so stay tuned for that. Unless it's already, I've already uploaded it, in which case go and watch it. The dates for uploading are going to be pretty wonky for a bit. But yeah, I am happy I read this this play. I would love to actually see the play, um, because I feel like with the stage directions and the special effects, it would be a really interesting show. So these next two books I actually haven't finished reading yet, but I will be done by the time this video is posted and by the end of August. This one is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan. I am almost done with it, if you can see. I could probably finish it by tomorrow, and I do like this book. It's not my favorite book ever, but I do like it. My favorite characters have to be Blitz and Hearth, and I may or may not ship them together. I'm trash. I am OTP trash. But I really am liking this book. I like the diversity in it, and I can't wait until the next series comes out. If you don't know what this is about, this is kind of about this boy who finds out he's the son of Frey, who is a Norse god, and he's basically traveling throughout, you know, Viking mythology or Norse mythology. So you, you see Thor, you see Loki. Um, I don't know about Odin, I don't know if he's there, but yeah. Uh, you see all these gods, and it's really interesting because I don't know much about Norse gods, except from what I've seen with Marvel movies. And finally, we've got Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. I'm listening to this on audiobook. I have like three chapters left, so I should be done by the time August is over. And this is like my tenth time reading it, if you can't tell by the way this book is completely destroyed. I love this book. This is probably one of my favorite in the series. It's so emotional, and I cry almost every time. You find out so much information. I love this book, and it's just as amazing listening to it as it is reading it. And that was my August wrap-up. Let's get on to my September TBR. Since I will be studying in London, in case I haven't mentioned it like a million times already on this channel, um, I'm really excited. So since I'll be studying in London, I am not giving myself too many books to read in September just because I know I'm going to be really busy and I'm going to be adjusting and I'll have my classes. So it will be harder for me, so I'm going to only have three books on my TBR and I'm not going to pressure myself to like finish these books. This is just what's going to be there. The first book is Crest by Marissa Myers. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicle series. It, it covers kind of like Rapunzel's fairy tale, and I'm really excited to see that. I heard this was like the best book in the series, so I'm super excited. 
and I these books go by really quickly so I'm not even that concerned about finishing it in September I know I will because I love these books I love Caress I I love these books so much the next book uh, I dropped it the next book I plan to read in September is Winter by Marissa Meyer this is the fourth book in the Lunar Chronicle series it covers uh, little not little red riding hood it covers Snow White and kind of like her fairy tale, it's the conclusion to the series. I'm going to be so excited, but also so heartbroken. But I'm, I love this series. I really, really, really love this series. So I can't wait to see how it's going to end. And of course, the last book that I plan on reading in September is Empire Storms by Sarah J. Mass. I have been waiting for this book to come out for a year. I am so excited. I'm going to buy my English version over in England, and then when I get back to America, I'll buy my American version so it'll match the rest of the books on my shelf. So I'm so excited. I need to find out what happens to my baby Adion and my baby Lysandra and my baby Dorian and my scary, scary baby Manon. Manon? I don't know how to pronounce AJ Mass's names. And so I will probably cry and I'll be so excited to get that review to you guys because I, I've i heard some controversial opinions on it about it on Twitter. Some people aren't being very kind to Sarah J. Mass, which, by the way guys, be nice. However you feel about the book, you can criticize someone or critiques a, a work of art in a nice way without threatening the author or making personal attacks. So that was my August wrap-up and September TBR. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want, you can like, comment, and subscribe. I will leave the links to all of my social media down in the description box below. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Goodreads, or you can shoot me an email over at uh, pagedescreetotaylor at gmail.com. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you all in my next video later. Bye!